Welcome, I'm Maybe Crafter, and welcome to my channel. Today, we are going to take a tour of my fairy garden and make some walkway paths for my castle. Now, our fairy garden began as a neighborhood project, and all the local kids got together and made little fairy houses for this area in our park that was kind of empty and bare and nobody was doing anything with it. So all the local kids made their little houses and put up little paths and brought little figures to put in the fairy garden. It was always nice to walk through the park and see what new additions someone had added. And it was just not only nice to see, but it was just kind of really cute how all the kids came together and made something special that they could all enjoy. And I thought it was a really nice project that brought everybody together in times when people really aren't that together. Well, unfortunately, not everybody appreciated the fairy garden. And some really trash, sorry excuse for human beings, decided to destroy the fairy garden. We first got notified via Facebook that somebody had vandalized the fairy garden. And when we walked over there, it was decimated. It wasn't just some animals or something like that. Someone had made a real effort to destroy it. Unfortunately, after it was destroyed, the city wouldn't let us put it back. They just said they'd had too many complaints and they didn't want it back. So we decided we would make our own fairy garden. So it started out in one of our flower beds. We cleared the area so and bought some dragon glass and put down some gravel. We had a little river. Slowly but surely, we started adding little houses. My daughter helped make some of the houses. I made some of them. We bought some little figures and things at various craft stores and online. It was just a really nice project. It really kind of helped us feel better about the fact that our original fairy garden had gotten destroyed. Originally it had fairies and gnomes in it because it was a combination, though now our fairy garden has kind of evolved and we have our fairies and then we have our gnomes in a separate garden. But this was the beginning and it lasted for about three years and then the neighborhood cats and the neighbor's dog who gets out sometimes took their toll on the garden and you know some houses rotted and we had to get rid of them some houses got broken fairies got destroyed just from you know wear and tear weather and everything dragon glass got spread up all over the place and unfortunately we discovered that dragon glass also has a tendency to turn into dust and the dust is basically tiny particles of glass so it gets on you and it cuts and you can't get it off So we decided that it was time to renovate our fairy garden. So we pushed all the rocks out. We decided we'd put down some fake grass instead. Got it on Amazon and at first I was worried that it wouldn't be great quality because sometimes it's hit or miss on Amazon. But we did find some really nice quality stuff. We decided to redo our river, this time with bricks lining it because the white rocks didn't really keep anything in the river. And we decided to use aquarium rocks instead for the river so that maybe they'd be heavier and they wouldn't turn into glass dust. The funny thing about the aquarium rocks is that was an adventure within itself because we bought it online. We bought about seven 25 pound bags of aquarium rock online and it was a scam site. Three weeks later, they said my package was delivered and when I looked out on the mailbox, there was no package on our front porch. It was just a tiny box, which was definitely not 25 pounds, seven bags of 25 pound rocks. It was a ring. And when we contacted them, they gave me the runaround. And so eventually we just had to get our money back. We went to a local pet store and got our rocks from there. After getting everything out straightened out and everything in our new fairy garden, I decided the castle needed a little bit more accent on it. So using epoxy sculpt, which I found holds up better than polymer clay, I put some gravel and painted some little stepping stones 
to make a little walkway for the castle. I also made some lanterns. They are a marble, a painted golf tee, and some epoxy sculpt on the bottom as a stand to hold them up. They have been an adventure because first I tried hot glue, didn't work, they fell off. Then I tried super glue, didn't work, fell off. Then I've tried UV resin, didn't work, fell off. Are you kidding me? So now I've got glass glue and we'll see what happens. It's just been a really fun experience with the fairy garden. The neighborhood kids enjoy it. They like to see what new things we've added. And overall, even though it began because of a sad event, it really has turned into a very positive and happy event afterwards and a happy experience afterwards. I hope you've enjoyed listening about our fairy garden and I hope you've enjoyed seeing it. I will most likely do future videos where I build and make future creations for our fairy garden. I'm going to try my hand at making my own fairies, so I will definitely do a video of that. Overall, we've enjoyed the whole process and I hope you have too. I appreciate what you're watching. Thanks. And have a great day. Bye. What do you think? I'm happy with it. Awesome.